Hey everyone, welcome back to another print on demand video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing is print on demand worth it in 2024? Now, this video is going to be specifically for those of you who are considering starting print on demand right now. You're starting from scratch and you don't have an existing business built up. Now, although this will also apply to those of you who have already started print on demand and something that I'm going to share here is actually really going to help you guys as well. I really wanted to keep those of you who are just starting out in mind for this video. So with that being said, specifically what we're going to be talking about in this video is a print on demand t-shirt business. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have been in this business for just about 10 years now. I have been around the block as things have changed over the years. So all of my insight and experiences are just going to be shared here freely. So at the time of making this video, it is 2024, about halfway through the year. And we've just gone through a pretty big cycle of a change in print on demand. Now, this big cycle of change happened in 2022, 2023. And what it was, was more people finding out about the print on demand business model and inevitably becoming sellers in the space, and then artificial intelligence starting to play a role in this business. Now, what that means for you starting out in print on demand in 2024, and this will probably carry over into 2025 as well, is that if you are going to start this business, you have to be using a certain strategy. That's what I'm going to share with you freely in this video. So without further ado, I'm excited to share all of this information with you guys. Let's switch over to the computer and get straight into this video. Okay, so the first thing starting out in this video is a report of the overall market for print on demand. Now, this is a really good report that I've already pulled up for us. And essentially what you want to be looking at in this report is how fast is the industry of print on demand growing? Now, when you look into different online business models out there, or you're looking to start different business ideas, always look up what the overall industry is doing or projected to do going forward. What you may find with some of these online businesses is they are actually on a decline. So that online business is fizzling out and you don't exactly want to be starting out in that space if the industry is already going down. When it comes to print on demand, the industry is growing at actually a really fast pace. It's already about four and a half billion dollars spent on these types of items every year. And as you can see, that is projected to keep growing at a really fast rate. Now, something else that I love about these reports is they break down different aspects of that industry. So again, looking at print on demand, the market growth stage is high and the pace of market growth is accelerating, not decelerating. So the industry of print on demand is going to continue to grow every single year and it's growing at a really rapid rate. Now, the reason that I wanted to share that with you is because so many people ask me in 2024 or going into 2025, is it too late to start print on demand? Is it already too saturated? Is it too competitive? Well, first off with this information that the industry is in fact growing and it's growing at a fast pace combined with the strategy that I'm about to show you. If you are starting out in print on demand in 2024, you can absolutely succeed and you can succeed early on. In a second here, we'll switch back over to the computer. I'm excited to share what this strategy is with you guys, but I wanted to take one quick second to say that if you want the full expanded strategy, how to do everything from start to finish, I'm going to link up the full print on demand tutorial in the description below. It's a totally free video here on YouTube that goes through my entire current process. So that will really help you out what to do, which websites to upload to the whole nine yards. So with that being said, let's switch back over to the computer and let me show you what this strategy is. Now to show you what this looks like and how to use this strategy, I'm going to use Amazon as our example. So Amazon, if you didn't know, is the largest print on demand website out there. Most people didn't even know that you can do print on demand on Amazon totally for free. But if you type in a niche, a different type of t-shirt, I'm going to use gardening t-shirt and you search for that in their marketplace, these are for the most part, all print on demand designs uploaded on Amazon in the gardening niche. Most people when they see this are just going to scroll up to the top and see over 4,000 results. This is already a saturated niche and most people aren't going to have success going into this niche competing with all of these existing designs. So this is where the strategy comes in. Whether you are talking about Amazon, you're talking about Redbubble or TeePublic or any of the big print on demand websites, that big cycle of change that I was telling you in 2022 and 2023 of more people competing in print on demand. All of these people competing are competing at the surface level of niches. Now, what I mean by that is the big general overall niche. So gardening designs, but there's not necessarily things specific within gardening designs. So this is something that I've learned in the last couple of years that I'm implementing now that works extremely well. And there is so much room for you guys to be using it as well. That's why I'm happy to share it with you guys. And what that is, is finding out what are the sub niches within these overall niches. 
pages. So to give you a perfect example of this, when you look at gardening t-shirts, you may just think all of these are just generally garden. But when you start to look at what the design specifically is, this is with my dog. So that is a gardening shirt and a dog shirt combined. So this is a sub niche within gardening that's creating designs that are about gardening and dogs. As you keep scrolling through here, you're going to see that there are more examples of this. So gardening tomatoes, not just generally gardening. So that brings us to the next step here. And that is how do you find these sub niches within the overall niches? And how do you know which ones of those don't already have people selling in them? Well, the way that I do this is with Merch Informer. So if you've seen my other videos, you've definitely seen this before. Before. I use it in several different parts of my process, but they have a tool where you type in the overall niche and it breaks it down into all of these sub niches and tells you how competitive that unique sub niche is. Now, I will say right off the rip, this is a paid tool. It's about $10 per month. You only need the newbie plan for this. I have a personal coupon code from them. I will put it down in the description. That'll give you 20% off. So if you do use that, it's only $8 per month and they have a free trial. So for the sake of this tutorial, you can literally follow along totally for free. So with that said, let me get logged in. I'll show you how to use this. Okay, so once you're logged into your Merch Informer account, over on the left side, all of these drop down into multiple different tools. For this video specifically, we are going to keyword research and then keyword finder. Now, this is the beauty of using a tool like this. Whatever niche you have come up with, just type it in the top here. So I'm going to type in gardening and then literally just click search. And now this is going to break down that overall niche where everyone is competing into 358 different sub niches. And specifically, it's going to tell you how competitive that sub niche is. So with all of this information, all you're looking for is the keyword or the phrase. This is going to tell us the sub niche. And then it's going to tell us right here in this column how competitive that sub niche is. So as you scroll through here, just look at the low competition sub niches. So fall gardening designs. Not all of these are going to make much sense. Dinosaur gardening, if you can make the connection, that's awesome. But keep going, community gardening, advanced gardening, bonsai gardening, that is a perfect one right there. So making shirts in the gardening niche for people who have bonsai trees, that is a wide open sub niche within gardening. As you keep coming through here, anime gardening, you can literally just scroll through the entire niche and it's just going to break it down into the places where you can be creating designs and not many other people are competing in that in 2024. Now, the reason that I love this so much is that we are just in the overall topic of gardening. However, there are unlimited niches that you can be typing in here and it's just going to break that down into hundreds of different sub niches. You go in and see in real time is that low competition, high competition, and you can cherry pick the ones where not many other people are competing. Being able to sort through big overall niches and see in real time what are the low competition gaps and then create designs in those is going to put you ahead of the pack of all the people who are just generally creating designs in that niche and they haven't thought of these sub niches yet. So if you are the first to get into these sub niches and you can create a handful of designs and get them posted on the big print on demand websites, you are going to have a lot of success in print on demand and it doesn't matter if you just started today or if you started 10 years ago like I did. Now again, this is just part of my overall strategy for finding these low competition niches. If you want to find out how to come up with the design ideas, how to post them onto the websites and overall which websites to be posting them to, that will be in the full tutorial linked in the description. Guys, if you have any questions at all, just let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. And if you enjoyed this video, please just give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. Otherwise, I will be seeing you guys all in the next video.